Let me speak for Big Blue Nation, Seth. What the hell is going on with Kentucky? They're not a good basketball team, plain and simple. They're not a good basketball team. They don't compete. They don't take care of the basketball. They didn't recognize the changing defenses of Georgia Tech. And when they turned it over, their effort getting back in transition was hard. They get open shots. They pass them up. They take the ball into traffic. They turn it over. Uh, their decision-making defensively, they got to guard the ball and keep it in front. They didn't keep it in front. So what happens? Dribble penetration, dump offs. Moses Wright has a career night. They're not competitive. They're not tough. They don't have a point guard right now in this moment in time. They look like a young basketball team, and I understand they're a young basketball team, but they need to be better. And this is the hard thing about Kentucky, because when you decide to go to Kentucky, there's an expectation. Correct. And if you don't fulfill that expectation, obviously, there's accountability. And right now, everyone's accountable. This team is not playing well. They're not tough enough. They're not physical enough. They're not mentally tough enough. They're not emotionally tough enough. And right now, I don't see getting much better until they start taking care of the basketball and improve their point guard play. Yeah, you talk about those turnovers. They've had at least 15 turnovers in every game so far this season, more than 20 in this loss to Georgia Tech. All right, so let's go big picture down the road, okay? A lot of teams struggle early on but can find their way in the middle of the season and still make a run. How do you see that potentially playing out for this squad under John Calipari? Well, first, I think Davon Mintz is going to be the point guard. I think Devin Askey, right now, he's just not ready. Like, he should be in his senior year of high school. He should be getting ready to play Good for point. some holiday tournament for Matter Day, you know, maybe the hoop hole here in Springfield. Right now, the plays that he's making, he's driving in, leaving his feet. He doesn't know when to shoot it, when not to shoot it. He doesn't get by his man. That's a problem. He's got to develop into that. Now, these kids missed the whole summer. Yep. Uh, basically, they were in quarantine. They missed the opportunity. So were all the other programs, too, no though, about it, But they're not starting all these freshmen and these first-year players. So I'd say go with the experienced mitts. Now, he's got to understand good shot, bad shot, get us in offense, when to be aggressive. Those wing guys got to play lower and stronger. I, I look at Terrence Clark. I look at, at, at Boston. They're very good prospects. But now they've got to become players. They've got to become winning players. You can't, you know, just because you have talent doesn't mean you're a winning player. It means you're a talented guy that has the potential to be a winning player. Right. What is a winning player? A guy that doesn't take plays off. The guy that drives it as strong and is on balance. Knows the difference between being open and then making a play. And a guy that understands how to make the next pass. And then when he makes a mistake, who can convert down the other end all right, and compete defensively. They stopped competing defensively. They didn't recognize defenses. Like Georgia Tech did a nice job of changing defenses. You've got to recognize defense. Did a poor job of that. And then up front, now look, look at these decisions these guys make on drives. Right, here's a contested shot, boom, wide open three. Dribble penetration. Here Moses attacks the closeout. That can't gets happen. Beat. You've got to stay between the ball and the basket. Everyone teaches in high school. Stay between the ball and the basket. Lays closeout, wide open three. The inability to defend the basketball. If you can't defend the ball, you can't defend. So if you get beat off the dribble and now you're in rotation, two things happen. Dump off layups or the ball goes on the glass and people get to the offensive glass. They didn't guard the ball in the perimeter. They didn't take care of the basketball offensively. Their shot selection was, su was suspect. They're going to get better. There's no doubt. Cal will try to figure it out. But now they've got two problems. They've got to get better in terms of their ability and their mm -hmm. understanding of college basketball. And now self-doubt. Yeah. Because these guys thought, here's the deal, Michael, and you, you follow it. These guys think you go from high school to college, it's easy. They watch it on TV, go, hey, I can do that. That jump from high school to college is really hard. Learning how to compete, learning how to play with other good players, understanding that now these scouting reports are sophisticated, they're taking away what you do well. It's a lot more physical. You take a play off, you get exposed. You take a bad shot, and it's a transition play the other day. Right. These other guys you're playing against, they're preparing for the game. They're on scholarship also. They have expectations also. So the mental aspect for John Calipari is, is as important as anything else he's doing. Getting him to understand how hard you got to play, how competitive you have to be, but also massaging their egos. Yeah. That's hard. Hey, several days ago, Calipari tried to tell Kentucky fans this is going to be a rough stretch based on their schedule. But I think even the most pessimistic UK fan did not think they would be one and three. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.